right, welcome to our next episode, Cooking with Chef Jimmy. Today we're gonna do dessert, and he tells me this is really easy, chocolate mousse. Hello, Sarah Palin. All right, let's do yeah, it. Mousse out chocolate. This is gonna be fantastic. We have coverture chocolate, which right. has got a high percentage of cocoa fat in it, uh -huh. whipped egg whites, whipped egg yolks, whipped cream, magic touch of brandy. Uh -huh. You fold it all together, a little vanilla, and put it in the refrigerator. Sounds easy, Done. doesn't it? Watch me screw it up, here we go. Ready, let's start. The heavy cream has vanilla paste already added to it. We have three ounces of sugar. We have four eggs separated whites to yolks and eight ounces of chocolate coverture coins. Try one of those. What kind of chocolate is this? Coverture, 58% cocoa butter, rich. I don't know if you like oh, dark okay. chocolate. That's the mm. best dark chocolate you're gonna have. That was amazing. Why are we even cooking it? Oh. <laughs> oh, stuff's good. Now to start, we need to melt the chocolate. Thank you. The, this melts at a very low temperature. All right. It's very easy to burn. Mm -hmm. This is the technical part. I put on a pot of boiling water. Mm -hmm. When the water comes to a boil, right. you're gonna put the coins into a bowl. We're gonna put it on top of the bowl the and boiling. then the boiling water right, and okay. shut, it, shut it off. Okay. Shut that it way off. it'll melt. Got that? All shut right. it off. So right here, here's our boiling water. Here's our bowl. All right. Add the chocolate. Add the chocolate. All right. We're also going to add an ounce of butter. That's going to melt. We're going to stir it in. Look what we did. Isn't, Isn't that perfect? quick? That's amazing. Damn, look at that. Now we could add our brandy here. You can use brandy. How you about can we use add the brandy here? Liqueur. We can do that as well. We always remember good chefs do good things right, and they always have a little something on the side. We're going to, now if you look on the edge, See where this comes in? That means yeah, it gets yeah. a little bit warm. You're gonna keep it stirring. Oh, okay. All now, right. a lot of people are frowned about this, but I'm a little old school in my method. I was learned to temper the chocolate by touching it under your lip. If it was warm, it's too hot. You don't want it warmer than skin temperature. Right. About 112 degrees is gonna burn. This is perfect when I put this on the side. We have an ordinary bowl. You can use a mixer if you want to, mm -hmm. but this is the Rick Stacy workout show at Le Cordon Bleu. Right, okay. We have right here, Four egg yolks. You gotta burn some calories mixing before you eat. Before stuff. you eat it, you better believe that. I now, gonna make up we're gonna add a little bit of sugar. Mm -hmm. And right here, I have for you. Notice how he doesn't measure anything. What's that all about? If I do that, forget it. it tastes like oh, milk. I've got everything already measured. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, you, yeah, you didn't pour the whole thing in. Now, all right, you're to gonna that? stir it. Now, you made a very good point. A great student. We have three ounces of sugar total. Uh -huh. We're gonna incorporate some of it into the egg yolks, right. some of it into the egg whites, okay. and the remainder of it into the whipped cream. Okay. Now, I'm gonna add a little sugar to this. Wouldn't it be horrible if I grabbed the salt by mistake? Keep adding. <laughs> All right. While you do that, how about I whip the egg whites? You do that. Oh, God. Use the machine. This is ridiculous. My elbow hurts already. La da 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 da. I think you're supposed to sing in French. I have the egg whites from the egg yolks. I'm gonna add sugar as I'm going. Yeah. You're stirring. I have my thumb up like a motorcycle. Right. And I'm gonna whip. Do I do? Oh, you whip. I'm stirring. Well, okay. we can both whip, but we're gonna see uh, how it goes. This seems a lot harder than what you're doing. Well, I've, I've got it all on my wrist. You're moving your whole arm. Yeah, well, why you aren't you doing this? I think I've done this longer. A good practice if you're doing this at home, yeah. if you can hold an egg in your armpit without dropping it, you're doing it correctly. If you can hold it, hold what, for what you're doing or what I'm doing? For both. Oh, okay. Give me an egg. You want to grab an egg? There's one in the... <laughs> no, we're going to ruin this coat. It's not even mine. <laughs> it's going to be yours soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, after I break the egg. Now, it. as my egg whites... Egg whites preliminarily a protein that looks like a strand, like right. a slinky. Yeah. We're denaturing that protein by stretching that strand. Uh -huh. You stretch it too far, it's gonna break. We've got it started. I'm gonna add a little bit of my sugar to help stabilize it, uh -huh. and then I'm gonna continue whipping. And listen, we have our comey here. We're gonna lift up your arm. Oh, crap. Right there, relax, oh, put it down there. All right, arm, now okay. start going. I've got my start hands down, right. I have to catch right. it. No, no, I'm not gonna. If not, we'll get, does it, does is it, it, is it helping anybody? Me? Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, hold on. Let's go. Oh, there's a chicken. It's a little All right. strange. So something about strands and stuff. Isn't that DNA? No, it's kind of like DNA, but yeah. it sounds like the local news with all the trials going on, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, a strand of egg yolk. Or no, that's uh, egg white. Now, see how yours, yours is getting lighter in color? Yeah. We want yours to get light in color that's and because thick. because it's cooking from all the heat. The no, friction. no, you know, all the friction, exactly. Yeah. 
So why do you wear these big hats anyway? That's what I want to know. Well, the, the taller the toque back in the day showed the uh, the higher the hat, the higher the authority. Yeah. And you were actually awarded a toque if you could prove you could cook an egg 101 ways. And there's 101 pleats in a toque. That's that's tradition right there. Really? Well, think of this right now. You're learning one way how to cook an egg. So do I take a toque or? Yeah, you can have a toque. Okay. Man. Right now, I have no peaks yet. I want to go to a medium peak. God, look at that. Mine's got a little glossiness to the sugar like yours. Yeah. Yours is going to start, is it starting to feel like it's getting thicker? Oh, it's getting thicker, all right. <laughs> Mine's thicker than yours. <laughs> you started before I did. I got a little bit of a peak right there. If you look on the end, that little point, yeah. that's a soft peak. It's there. If I turn it and it bends, so you're looking to make that a longer piece. Exactly. Gotcha. And you'll see the difference. Nope. This is something you can do at home. If you have a mixer at home and you don't want to work up a sweat, use a mixer and let the machine do all the work for you. Yeah. Will the mixer give you a longer peak? Yeah, and be careful. Here's the deal. If you use a mixer, right. you're more apt to over whip it and break it and it's ruined. Uh, if you're doing it by hand, right. your arm's obviously going to get tired. You have less of a chance to break it. See right there? What constitutes breaking it? It's going to be crumbled. It's oh, going to look okay. green with moisture coming out all of it. Right. Those strands of proteins are going to get so long and snap, they're going to release all the moisture. All right, can you see over my shoulder? Right, right about here? That's where you're going to want to be for your egg whites. I'm going to chill these down. Wow, look at that. Gorgeous. Isn't that oh beautiful? Now, look. How, how thick is it? Will it hold a peak at all? No, nope, not keep going. Ugh. Here, switch your golf club. What? This is a stiff whip. This one's more of a bulb whip to bounce that around. A bull whip. Bull, bull. bull, bull. <laughs> yeah. Make sure you have enough width to hold. Point down. Point down. Hold, what? hold your thumb like this. Yeah. And then just roll. Roll. Okay. Hold. And then hold this here. Okay. And then roll like that. It might be a little bit easier. Roll like that. Like that? Yeah, there you go. There you go, I'm rolling. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna add my favorite part, the rum. The rum, right here. Now you can use rum, brandy, orange liqueur. We need to develop the structure in the egg yolk to hold the uh, the liquor, which is a flavor ingredient. You see how it loosened up again? But so we'll be all right. Okay. Oh, that smells good. It smells like eggnog. Oh, of course it does. Hey, you want to do an eggnog segment? I've got an eggnog that will ruin all your listeners' lives. <laughs> <laughs> you did a great job with your workout on your egg yolk, so right. I'll handle the cream. We've got good eight thing. ounces of heavy cream right. with about a tablespoon of vanilla paste, which is awesome. You can use vanilla extract, almond extract, vanilla bean, whichever your pleasure is. We're going to add the remaining sugar, but we're going to start by whipping. Once we get it a third of the way done, then we'll add the sugar, and then we'll finish this off. You don't want it a full stiff whipped cream. You want it a little bit under, because right. when we fold all the ingredients together, that's still considered whipping and stirring, and we don't want to break it. You can see that the, sh the uh, cream looks real good, starting to get thick. I'm going to add my sugar. This is the remaining sugar. So that first batch of the three ounces, and you can see now this, if you whip it long enough, you know what you'll get? Vanilla, vanilla flavored stuff? butter. Oh, really? Yeah. This right here, perfect. All right, look, I know this sounds really complicated, but don't worry, because right here on the website, 1059sunnyfm.com, we'll uh, post all the instructions step-by-step step on how to do all this, because I forgot what we were making. I know there's some chocolate and some white stuff involved. Let's see what happens. We have our chocolate. Now we have to go in stages. We're going to mix in all of our egg yolk. Good. We want to stir this in. And this is the part where here we can work it hard. The next two stages we're going to work it real easy. We want to incorporate this. See how beautiful that color is yeah. evening out? Excellent. And now here comes your shaving cream. Right here. It looks kind of like shaving cream on Halloween. Now we go from here. Yeah. Next will be our egg whites. With the egg whites, you want to fold them in in thirds. The reason why, you don't want to knock the air out of the egg whites, because this is chocolate mousse. This is light, fluffy, right. coverture chocolate, hint of rum, brandy, or orange liqueur. All you need next is maybe some uh, 
Tony Bennett music in the background. We're gonna put a third of those in and right. gently fold them around. It's okay if you beat the first one in. The next two are gonna be slightly more gentle. When do I get to use this thermometer you gave me? Oh, we're gonna use that when we, when we take that venison out. Now, what is, this is gonna be like what? Like, how do you serve this? Oh, we're gonna refrigerate this and you can serve it in the cup. Put berries on it, right. whipped cream. There's a lot of different things you can put to that now. So does it harden? It's gonna, when the chocolate sets, right. this is gonna solidify in the cooler. I'm gonna switch off some of this whipped cream. So would you say on the scale of impressing your date uh, or your wife or- 12. 12, wow, okay. I thought souffle, whatever that is, is the one. Well, souffle, souffle is maybe a 15, but the souffle is much more technical. Yeah, that can pop like in a second after all your work, right? Exactly. But this pretty much, if you follow the instructions, you've got chocolate mousse. And this is looking now, a little thick. can you lick thick? this off somebody without making a mess? Well, you'll have a mess to clean up while you're licking. How's that? <laughs> all right. That's our leftover cream. We're going to gently incorporate that light tap. When you fold, bring from the bottom, bring to the top. Oh, bring to the top and bring to the top. Now we're gonna let this set in the refrigerator. It came out a little lumpy, but he says we can save it. So we'll see we can still does. save okay. it. Let's say it's not perfect. Take like an ice cream scoop. I've got right. a fancy quenelle scoop. And you can put a little dollop down, right. which gives it a nice little shape. Let's do two. And our chocolate was a little cold when we formed it in. It looks like a, a big lump of something right now, right? <laughs> now we have a regular sauce melba, which is like a, a compote with peaches and berries. Swirl that around. If you want to, a little bit of whipped cream, maybe a little bit of mint. Right. Even if you got whipped cream in a can, you're trying to make an impression at home, just something to give because it may not look great, yeah. but once you taste this, it's over. It, I'm, I'm telling you, we, we, uh, we tasted some of this. It's incredible. I, I want another spoon. So join us next week for hot dogs and potato chips. <laughs> Be a little easier.